following a developing story in the NBA involving the Heat potentially getting a big boost soon as Victor Oladipo and Marquise Morris are traveling with the team to New York. I don't know when they will be on the floor with the Heat. Oladipo has missed all season as he's been recovering from an injured quad. He averaged over 17 points, four rebounds, and four assists in his career. All this talk on the Nets, the Sixers, and the Bucks. Well, the Heat are tied with the Bulls atop the Eastern Conference. Top five teams in the East are separated by fewer than three games. And then you have the Nets and the Hawks. They would be in the playing tournament if the season ended today, while the Knicks would be on the outside looking in. As promised, Kendrick Perkins back with us here on SportsCenter. Uh, Kay Perk, if Oladipo is healthy, what kind of impact could he not only have on the Heat, but the entire Eastern Conference in the second half of the season? Well, look, if, if they could get Victor back, the Miami Heat, we're talking about them goons from Dade County. If they get him back, that just provides more offensive firepower. This is, look, I already have the Heat as my dark horse to win it all, but if you could get a 75% victor back, it's going to be dangerous for not only the Eastern Conference, but the Western Conference. Look, they already have one of the best defensive teams in the NBA. They already have one of the best, if not the best, coach in the NBA. And you're adding an a all-star caliber player to what they already have. By the way, Kevin, they're already number one in the Eastern Conference. And you're adding Victor? Shoot, yeah. everybody better watch the hell out. Exactly, especially in a stacked East. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.